my lab studies how plants use light as a source of information. We all know that plants use light as a source of energy through photosynthesis, but plants also have a suite of photoreceptors that read their light environment and change gene expression in the plant to control growth and development. What a plant sees, sees is an enrichment in far red light under the shade of another plant. And that triggers a set of these photoreceptors that then leads to changing growth and development. If you look at photographs of plants that were taken with infrared sensitive film, the leaves of the plants look silver, they're blindingly bright. And that's what a plant sees in its light environment. So that's being reflected off of the neighboring plants. And that's how a tomato plant can detect that it's closer or farther away from another tomato plant. If you look at the packet of tomato seeds, it tells you how far to grow the plants from each other. Because if you grow them too close together, the tomatoes detect their neighboring tomatoes and they put more of their energy into stem growth and less of their energy into fruit growth. The impact that this has on crop biotechnology, from my point of view, is that these photoreceptors and the hormone pathways regulate plant stature. And by manipulating size of the plant, we may be able to increase yield. If I can take some of that fundamental information and use it to improve yield or quality in crops, especially if it can have an impact on farmers here in the state of Washington or farmers in the Pacific Northwest, then that's a tremendous impact.